Hi guys, thank you for joining me. Not too long ago there by Morgan Hill there was a magnitude 2.5 earthquake. A very small earthquake that two people took the time to report that they felt. But what I want to bring up what's significant is the fact that that magnitude 6.0 earthquake that they had along the border of Nevada and California near Lake Tahoe uh, could very well trigger there's a 20% chance within the next month could trigger a major earthquake somewhere west in California within the next month. Any fault zone that has enough tension built up could have an earthquake because of that 6.0. Let me show you something. IRIS has posted a gift showing how the earthquake uh, sent a wave west and north. Let me play it for you. Okay, watch the earthquake wave. See how it moves west and then mostly south, some north, all the way up to Alaska, across the uh, United States to um, Yellowstone, the East Coast, the Gulf of California, Venezuela, etc. Let me play it again for you. Watch the direction of the tension of that earthquake. See how it moves west across California, mostly the interior of Oregon and uh, Washington, and then across the west coast, or across the east coast, excuse me. Here's the moment tensor ball for that 6.0 earthquake. Notice tension is applied going west. So any fault zone west of where this earthquake occurred could very well be triggered by this 6.0 possibly within a month's time, a 20% chance of a large earthquake. If there's a large earthquake, and here we have on Google Earth the location, and let me bring this out. We got San Martin, we got Gilroy down south, let me bring this out, Morgan Hill up north, but what's a concern is not just the major damage and the cost of lumber for rebuilding, but the Anderson Dam, they just start a, started a retrofit project for this dam. They have known since uh, 2009 that if there's a large earthquake, this dam would collapse. The whole wall would slump, sending out a major tsunami of water. The water would probably go as far as um, Marin County. And across the Bay Area, there'd be a great loss of life if there's a large earthquake. Now, this retrofit that they just started yesterday or the day before is going to take 10 years. And they've known since 2009 that this earthen dam is not safe and only in 2019 uh, required that they drop the water level. How much water is still in there? I don't know. This image on Google Earth is um, from last year. 9-26-2020 it says. Yeah, is that water now below what the footing is? Because if that water came gushing out, there would be a major loss of life depending on how much water is still in this reservoir. So going back to this earthquake that occurred today, let me bring it down because this is an interesting geological area. You can see the fault lines here. See that? See how they come up? A USGS does not have a focal mechanism ball. They don't have a rupture length for this fault zone. It's almost like a triangle the way that these uh, built mountains have built up and the direction of the fault lines. We got another one probably right through here. You can see the mountains that have built up. And yeah, this is probably the fault zone where this 2.5 today occurred. So that 6.0 should be a wake up call. The government should be telling other people to get prepared for a large earthquake. That that earthquake would have uh, put pressure going west over here we got, this is the Hayward Fault. Yeah, the most dangerous fault in the uh, Bay Area. And then over here to the left, that is the St. Andreas Fault. So, yeah. 
are you prepared? Are you going to take advantage of this 6.0 being a wake-up call to be prepared for a major earthquake? So what are your thoughts? Um, how much water is left in that reservoir? Are you prepared for an evacuation? Yeah, how long can you tread water? Think of your children and your pets. Uh, what are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.